Hey, how's it going today? This is Brandon, and I'm gonna be doing a video on the four motion system, which is Volkswagen's all wheel drive. And two of the vehicles that we're gonna really be focusing on are the Taos, which has the four motion, the sixth version, and the Tiguan that has the fifth version. Now the Tiguan shares that fifth version with the Atlas, the Arteon, the Atlas Crossport, and again, the Tiguan. So let's get started. I'm looking about more about what Volkswagen's four motion technology includes. Okay, so like I said, on the Tiguan, it's gonna be the fifth version of Volkswagen's four motion. And that's gonna incorporate electronic stability control, anti-lock brakes, electronic locking differential, and anti-slip regulation. So you're taking the same technology that's on the front wheel drive and you're putting it on both axles. Now with the Tiguan, Atlas, Ardeon, and the Atlas Crossport, this four motion system can actually push almost 100% of power to either axle. So you can get 90% for your normal front wheel drive for good uh, fuel efficiency. And then when you need it, say you're going up a hill and it's slippery, or you're towing something and you're going up a hill and you need that power to be on the rear axle, then it can transfer almost 100% of power to either axle to accommodate for that. What the four motion is also gonna do is do passenger side, driver side, sending it across the differential. That's the EDL, the electronic locking differential. And that, like I said, is in the four motion that's on Tiguan, Atlas, Ardeon, and the Atlas Crossport. Now next we're gonna talk about the four motion that is on the Taos. Okay, so here we are in front of a few of our mini Taos, and we'll just get one set up in the background like we did on the other one. So with the Taos, this is gonna be the four motion version six. And so with the Taos, what you have is 50% of power can go to either axle. Since this is a smaller vehicle, you don't need so much power on the rear axle and you wanna maintain a really good balance. And that's what the Taos is all about, is it's a very balanced, lightweight, low center of gravity vehicle with a very peppy motor to really help get you off the line and get you down the road. So next we're gonna go inside the car, look at the four motion drive systems and go into those in a little bit more detail. All right, so here we are inside. This is your selector for your four motion. And depending on what we put it in, it's gonna reflect it up here on the screen. So we're in driving mode snow. With snow, it's gonna be um, more power on both axles right when you start. Cause it knows with snow that starting from a stoplight, you're gonna need both axles and all four wheels of acceleration or traction, I should say. And so it's automatically gonna put it in that with your slip control. This is gonna use your regular slip control. Most of the power, most of the time is gonna go through your front axle. When it needs it, it'll ship it immediately to the rear axle. This is off-road off-road mode. So what this is going to do is it's going to allow your uh, wheels to spin a little bit. It's going to allow that RPM to go up because it knows off-road you're dealing with unstable terrain. So instead of having the electronic stability control turning on and off and on and off every time there's a little bit of slip, with off-road you actually want those wheels to keep on spinning so you can like overall keep a good um, motion and good force on the ground to whichever wheel is touching. Also, a little bit of spinning is good. It does help you uh, keep your speed in off-road. You don't want to stop when you're going through mud or something like that. You do want to keep that momentum going. So off-road will allow you to kind of keep the revs up a little higher and it won't be so active on the electronic stability control. And then this is custom. So if there's like some parts about the snow that you like, some parts about the off-road that you like, you can switch it and make it your custom motion. That is why it's called four motion is because there's these four different motions. Now, one other little piece of information is that when you have it in regular on-road driving, you can switch your drive mode here with this button, and it'll give you the opportunity to select what mode you want it to be in up here. Um, and you only get so much time uh, which mode you want to put it in. So that shows you a little bit of information there about that. This can show you information as to like what those modes will look like. Um, if we go with a different mode here, let's say Eco, we do the information. So the steering is going to be normal, but the drivetrain, adaptive cruise control, and the climate control are all going to be set to, you know, be more efficient, more ecologically friendly. So I hope that really helps. So like I said, I hope that helps. 
provide some more information on what 4Motion is. It's an all-wheel drive system, some of the cool technology that's in it, how it operates, and how Volkswagen actually uses different four-wheel or all-wheel drive 4Motion systems on different vehicles based on the ergonomics and the driving demands. Like I said, we've got a lot of Taos, a lot of Tiguans here. We are one of the nation's best Volkswagen dealerships. So if you have any questions about a Volkswagen, definitely reach out. My name's Brandon, I'm here. The phone number is 314-731-7777. And I appreciate you for following along to this point. Hope everybody has a safe day and happy motoring. Bye.